sample question number 11 here is this is supposed to be question number 11 if the distance from point a to point b in the diagram is 270 centimeter what is the wavelength of this wave so the diagram is given to us and they are asking us what is its wavelength let me represent so as they have mentioned the distance from point a to point b it's going to be 270 centimeter now Look at this 270 centimeter distance has been divided into three equal segments. So I can say here to here, this to this point, it's going to be one segment. Here to here, it's going to be another segment. And here to here, it's going to be another segment. So the each segment has been divided into like, you know, this entirely divided into three segment. So now if I want to calculate what is the length of this much, how much is the distance covered when the wave goes from this start from here and come back at this moment? That can be written as 270 divided by 3. The total length divided by the number of segments that gives you the distance covered each. Then it's going to be 90 centimeter. So to move from point A to this, which have been mentioned, it's covering a distance of 90 centimeter. This is also covering a distance of 90 centimeter. This is also a distance of 90 centimeter. So all together give you a sum as 270 centimeter. But now question is, what is the wavelength of this wave? So what actually the wavelength is? Wavelength is basically the difference between the two peaks of the wave. So I can say, what is the difference, the distance basically, rather than saying difference, distance. The distance between these two points. So what is this length that it's called the wavelength? And usually wavelength is represented with the lambda. Let me tell you, wavelength is also equal to the time period for the given uh, signal. So I can relate because what is the time period for this function? What is the periodic it's like time period is basically after how long the function keeps or the wave keeps repeating. So look at here. If I'm talking from here to this point, to this point, after this one, the curve like curve that is the function is keep repeating. So the same thing it's a replicating, isn't it? Then I can say the time period for this function it's going to be or the given graph is going to be t and let me tell you the time period of the function or time period of the curve is same as its wavelength so i can give the relation between wavelength and the time period i can write here as wavelength that is the lambda must be equal to the time period time period of the function right so that's what we represent in terms of t so they are equally length so we are saying that what is the time period here so 90 in terms of distance i'm talking about it has covered 90 plus 90 the same should be the length here as lambda so lambda and t are the equal it means 90 plus 90 then the wavelength it's gonna be two times of the 90 or you can just say 90 plus 90 that's gonna give you 180 centimeter this doesn't require the uh, complicated formulas to know the frequency then reciprocate and use the speed of something it's a simple because they have already given us the arrangement by making use of the how it looks accordingly we can find the wavelength so that's going to be 180 centimeter and the option matches with that is option c